Her racing season kicked off in Searsmont today. Grace Bradley gives us these sights and sounds. There may have been snow on the ground, but people were still springing into action for the 42nd annual St. George River Race. 85 canoes and kayaks took on the race, attracting newcomers and veterans alike, such as Phoebe, who entered for the first time this year with her friend. Dragged an old canoe that he had on his land out of the woods, and we don't even know if it floats yet. Winning is not a thing. Amazing. Winning is not a consideration. I think it'll be great. It'll just be a lot of fun. So, how did she do? We came in last, which was perfect for us. Yeah, just really fun. Great day. Win or lose, everyone is gaining something from the race and trying to pass along the tradition. It's really neat to see families out here. Um, you know, there's there's younger people that are paddling today. Parents, grandparents, my kids and my family have been part of this race for a long time. I mean, I really feel like the paddling community is just that, a paddling community. We first started racing. I didn't have children. I brought my kids to the race. They grew up. The people we raced with had kids. I took their kids from the start of the race to the end of the race. Uh, we've watched everybody come and go. It's, it's just a good community, and Paul was a big part of that community for oh, many, many years. While encouraging new generations to get engaged, there was still room for reflection on past community members. Renee and her husband Rick honored his longtime paddling partner who recently passed, Paul Brown. Paul was a fierce competitor, a many times over national paddling champion, and a generous paddling teacher. And just a good man. Saturday's race marked the first competition in the canoe and kayak season, which continues all the way into the fall. Yeah, the passing next weekend, looking forward to that. Feeling strong, feeling really strong, looking forward to doing more. The paddling season continues next Saturday on April 1st, as racers face off again for some friendly competition at the Passy. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News, Searsmont. The St. George River Race is just the beginning. For more information on upcoming river races, visit MACKRO.org.